This is problem number eight from section 5.2. And this problem, it says, find a symbolic representation for f inverse of x. Now we have 3x over x plus five. Now this one might be a little bit tougher to determine whether or not it's one to one. So real quick, we'll just graph it. Y equals, we're gonna say clear, we're gonna go to a fraction, and we'll just put in 3x over x plus 5 real quick and graph. Now you can see if you do the horizontal line test, and this isn't quite a big enough window, but you can see this is um, <clears throat> a type of rational, a rational equation graph. And rational equation graphs typically um, are going to be one to one. Uh, in this case, we can see that this line and this line, there, there's a uh, horizontal asymptote there. So if you draw horizontal lines, they actually never touch twice. They only touch the function once. So we're good. We think this one's one to one. We can actually go through the steps. So the first step is to switch f of x to y. So we get y equals 3x over x plus 5. And now we're going to switch x and y. So x and y switch, we get x equals 3y over x plus 5. Oop, 3y, I forgot to put, make this y. This should be y as well, I bet. So x and y switch, I get uh, x equals 3y over y plus 5. All right, now we're going to multiply actually each side by y plus 5. So we get um, x times y plus 5 when I multiply the left side by y plus five, equals three y over y plus five times y plus five. Now remember, this is over one. So because it's over one, this cancels, right? And we're left with just three y. So we have x y plus five equals three y. Now I have a y on each side, which was an issue because I also had y in the numerator and denominator here, and that's I canceled this denominator, and then it created a different issue where the y's are on opposite sides. We can solve this, though, by distributing x first and then combining some like terms. So let's say x, y, x times y is x, y, x times 5 is 5x, equals 3y. I'm going to move this x, y over to the left, or to the right side by subtracting it, and I get 5x equals uh, negative or 3y minus xy. Now I'm going to factor out a y from each term. So I end up with 5x equals y, and what's left is 3 minus x. And then I'm going to divide each side by 3 minus x and I end up with 5x over 3 minus x equals y. Now I just need to replace y with f inverse, so I'm gonna write f inverse of x equals 5x over 3 minus x. And that's the inverse for our original function. Now we can take this, plug it into the original function, and see if we get x, and then take the original function, plug it into the inverse, and see if we get x. We have to do both to check our answer to make sure that this is actually the uh, inverse that we found.